All right, this is a quick video. You can see other videos specifically on how to get out and change out the turn signal bulbs in a Chevy Volt. This is a 2014 Chevy Volt, and uh, I had picked up a rock and it broke this turn signal and busted the light. So I actually took out the turn signal, or took, out, took out the bulb. In fact, here was the broken bulb I took took out and I replaced it with those switchback LED bulbs so when the running lights are on they're white so here's the switchback bulb and when you turn on the blinker they blink um, amber the problem is in my 2014 volt if you turn on the blinker I'll turn on the blinker the one I haven't fixed yet it blinks three times slow and then it goes to hyper blinking because the voltage or the amperage for the LED lights is too low. Over here, and this is really what I wanted to show, is I've now put in the resistors. So you can see this one is continuing to blink correctly. I go ahead and turn this off and I'll show you what I did. Over here, you'll see in the other video, there's some Torx screws, and there's uh, four of them. You take those out, you turn the wheel in, I didn't turn it this time, you can peel it back, and you can reach in there and twist and take that fella out, but that doesn't fix the hyper blinking. When you take out this bottom one, and you can peel, peel this guy back, and if you can see in there, Let's see, there are, ugh. let's see, can, there you can see it. There's that tab, that tab right there, right here. There's several of them and they fit in this little slot. So you, you pull back the body and at the same time, press this part down and you can detach this bottom air dam out quite a ways. And that's where I pulled my plug, this part. I pulled it out because it doesn't really reach out the bottom and it certainly doesn't reach out the edge. So I slid it out here. And the problem is, is you need to connect this resistor. I bought these I bought the bulbs and there's a bunch of different options on Amazon. And I bought the resistors separately because I didn't know I needed them. The main thing that's useful on this video is <laughs> what wires do you hook up? I got my uh, multimeter and figured out because we got these three wires at the bottom. But what I did is, is I uh, you know, pulled it out here and I slit this outer casing to pull out the three wires. I tested them in the plug and I found out that the black wire that one is the neutral. The yellow wire is the 12 volt always on. That's when you want the light to be um, white. But this other one, this one that's kind of a gray and with a white stripe, that one is your blinker. So you take your uh, splice clamps and uh, you put that one on the black, one on this black with a white stripe, and you clamp them together, you pinch it down. Um, you can see how to do these, I guess, in another video. The main thing is when you're, when you're putting them on, see if I can, I can unbuckle that dude. There is this little ridge, and you gotta get it, I don't know if you can quite see it, let me, zoom in a little bit further. What a shaky, crappy video. You can see it split all the way through. You got to put that wire, push it through there, and this fellow will separate. So the wire has to go all the way through so it's going in, in that one side. The other side actually has like a stopper. You see how it, it, this red wire can't go all the way through. You stick it in there, slide this one through that way, and this thing is sticking up and you pinch it down and that puts the splice and connects both of those. 
then you just pull that over and do that. So all I'm gonna do, I'll uh, tape this up so it isn't all loosey-goosey, get this guy secured back in there somewhere, and then uh, slide this guy back up in that hole. It's actually quite easy, and then just lock it into place. So I had seen videos on this here on YouTube, but I hadn't seen anything about how to actually hook the resistor up because honestly, that was significantly more difficult than simply replacing the bulb and putting that in. Uh, I haven't looked, but if you could find one of these bulbs that doesn't need the resistor, I don't know if they have anything like that, that would be a far easier option, if, even if it's a few bucks more. I wanna say that my two front blinkers, these were like 16, 17 bucks. And this was like an extra five bucks for the two resistors for the front. Um, I'm gonna get to going on uh, the other one, but I just wanted to do a quick one-shot video uh, to let people know who are doing this, which wires they're gonna be connecting and how in the world do you get to those wires?